Hi everybody, it's Trish with Rooster Crow Farms. I'm in a little bit of a denial today and I'm in protest that I'm wearing this beanie <laughs> because it's supposed to be spring and it's supposed to be warm and it's chilly and I'm not very happy about it. I'm taking out some leftover crusted sourdough pieces to feed to my animals. They love them and it's good for them. My husband built this for me. I did a video on it a while back, but it's actually out of an old messing box uh, that he got from one of his like great, great aunts maybe when she had chicken houses um, and we kind of refurbished it. So they generally just lay in that one and that one, but we're gonna check them all here. See if they've laid in any of them. Sometimes, It'll be a surprise egg. No. There might be a chicken in this. Oh, no. So there we have my copper morans. They lay the dark ones. And since we have five olive eggers, that's why we have so many green eggs. But this works really, really well. We'll go check over here in my other station. I haven't fed them yet this morning. They're, so they're a little hungry. Hey, big boy. Hi. Here's my pretty boy and his ladies. Look at them ladies. My Brahmas. They gave me two eggs. Thank you, ladies. These are the oldest ladies on the in the hen house right here. I don't think my black one lays anymore. Um, but she's a sweetie. Well, hello ladies. My eggs in my new basket that I purchased. Not meant to carry eggs in, but I wanted to show you off my new thrift store purchase, $5. I got a prettier one in the house. I'll show you that here in a minute. Back here in our back two of our property and looking for things that we might could use. It's a funny thing that we found. This year used to be an old stage. We made it for a Halloween party and black lights and stuff on it. And now we're gonna turn it. I think we're gonna use it for our compost pile. <laughs> Look at them good pallets. trees. We turned them the other day. We got apple blossoms. Yay! That's the one. And then over here. We need to mow. We also planted all the way down the, well my, my son did. Um, I know they look bad now, but we planted surprise lilies. Who is it? It's me, Pepper, you dumb dog. <laughs> you are an idiot. <laughs> Here is our other one. So hopefully we'll have some apples maybe this year. We had one apple last year. See what the other gentlemen are doing out here. I still need a good home. I know. They're kind of probably not happy that they're out here amongst themselves. But they're pretty boys. Are you pretty boys? Huh? Are you pretty boys? Not as pretty as you. Huh? Not as pretty as you. Or you. Hi, pretty lady. Outside, outside of this area. Oh, oh. I'm a little late getting out here. There's nosy 
Rosie. There's Nosy Rosie. Good morning, pretty ladies. It's about time to get out here and scoop your scoop your coop again. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Happy so, tree. It's just... There's the start of our compost pile. Compo compost bin, I should say. Homestead Rescue style right, style right there. It's a beautiful thing. The sun decided to come out today. Red's soaking it in. Oh, Red. Feel good? So the sun did come out. I knew it would. I knew it had it in it. Okay, so this morning we went out here and that radio is playing. Um, we were at, went out here earlier and I was showing you what we had back in the back. Um, and we've been talking about putting a compost pile compost bin together for several several years now but in our minds I guess we thought it was gonna you know that we needed to actually like buy some kind of a bin that you sp spun around to make it um whatever and it, that it would cost money and literally we just came out here and we found some old tote or some old um pellets that we had and we whipped us up we didn't whip it up. I mean, it really took like less than 30 minutes to get it um, all together. It's in the back side of my garden. It's perfect. It's near my chicken coop. So we can go when I clean out my chicken coop, dump it out. Um, and I'm sure we'll modify it some as, as it gets, you know, when we figure stuff out. But there it is. And we had um, this yellow tarp over here where the grass is dead right there. Where we were ripped up all the stuff out of my garden and stuff and all the vegetables and stuff. We've been throwing them in there, pepper in. So this will be our, you know, where it breaks down and then over here will be our good, good dirt. So it was that simple. It really didn't take very long at all. And so, you know, sometimes if you just walk around your property, you could find some hidden treasures that you can use for your garden or your compost bins. Our next on our list is going to be uh, a brooder that we're gonna make for my baby chicks that have about seven days left until they hatch. And I've counted, I candled them again, and I've seen at least nine moving around. And then I had one that I took out because it was clear and it was no babies in there. That one was easy to, to see, but I have like the dark copper moran eggs and the dark, some of the dark olive eggers that they have the darker green. It's kind of hard for me to tell. So I left them in there. I don't know, we'll see what happens. I might try to look at them again one more time before like, cause like three days prior to hatch it like you lock the system down. Like you don't have, you are not supposed to open them up at all. So we're, we're uh, getting close to that time. But our next project is going, going to be that we're going to build us some kind of a brooder station for these baby chicks. And we're still kind of tossing around some ideas on what we're gonna do with that. But that'll be probably in the next videos or so to come. 
But anyways, we're just hanging out here today, walking around, trying to find new projects to do. My husband loves it. <laughs> All right, y'all, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so because we have lots of, uh, lots of things coming, lots of things that we're doing to try to improve our little homestead here and to make us more self-sufficient. And y'all come on along for the ride. Until I post another video, y'all have a great and wonderful rest of your day. Bye.